episode we are going to see how we can show the server side validation errors with the Vue.js on our phone book app. So with that, welcome back to Bitfilms and I'm your host Sarthak. This is the channel where I talk about Laravel and the cool thing about Laravel. So if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and like Bitfilms on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. So I have this server started. Let's go to localhost colon 8000 then go to phone book and here we have let's go to home and if I click on add new and I have missed out this phone okay then if I click on save changes it should return some error let's open the console we are having some error but we are not showing that here so what we have to do we have to create the validation so I will open a new terminal or command prompt if you are on Windows machine then here I will say php artisan make request hit enter and we have to provide the name of this request also so let's say phone book request okay so hit enter and it's created let's open this project in sublime we have this here so now let's click on app and we have http inside this we have a new folder called requests here we have our phone book request so actually what's going on here let's open controller phone book controller whenever i save these fields I have to validate so there is one option that I will say this arrow validate like that but instead of that I'm using a separate validation system which is this request so I have to say firstly true here so after this the rules the rules are here so firstly the name and name is obviously required and max is 255 great then phone is also required and max is let's say 10 then email it's also required and let's say email for uh, email validation and this has to be numeric so numeric so if you are confused about these validation then you have to go to Laravel documentation Laravel 5.5 documentation and here let's say validation and here you have to search for the validation rules so there are rules which is here so I'm talking about the numeric system so here we have on the end part numeric so I have used numeric here for the email you can see we have somewhere email yeah email is here so we have to say email okay like this so these are the validations and if you want a unique system so you have to say unique for which table phone books table not phone book only we have to provide the table name so table name is plural of the model we have created so phone books validation is created successfully but how we can link that validation to our store method we have to import that uh, phone book request so here I will say phone book request and let's say yeah phone book request correct name and let's import this at the top so I'm using PHP companion so if you are not familiar with the PHP companion just follow the sublime series I have on my channel okay so we have done this let's now go to Chrome go to this system clean up the console and now you can see the phone is empty having no field I will click on this save changes we have unprocessable entity and now if I click here we will get on the network tab click here once more you can see we have the error 
which have a message called the given data was invalid for the phone book the phone field is also required the phone validation error is here phone field is required but we have to tell our app that there is some error and we have to display that error so what we have to do we have to go to sublime and now open resources folder assets js components and as everything is on our model so let's go to model and that model has is a add dot view so whenever we have some error in this add dot view whenever we are getting the data or whenever we are posting the data via axios post request we have this catch part where we are catching the error and console log the error that's why we are getting the error on the console whenever we have some problem like this okay so instead of doing this i will create a new data called errors okay and that should be an object great and whenever we have any kind of error i will say this dot errors is equal to error dot response dot data okay so now go to chrome and reload the page but before reloading we have to run our npm watch command okay so npm run watch so it will going to compile everything so everything is compiled now and let's now go to chrome hard reload because maybe chrome has cached our app.js file so we have to empty cache and reload that okay so now go to view tab and if you have not installed this view dev tool just go and install and search for view js chrome extension it will give you and install that okay so you can see if i go to this add component add component this error is now empty okay that's fine but if i click on save changes once more click this you can see we have this error which is like errors errors having many things email error phone error and name error so what we can now do let's go here and we will say data dot errors now what will be the change in this process let's reload once more hit on this add component click on add new click on save changes refresh by clicking this and you can see we don't have extra inside array of the errors okay so that's why i have used response dot data dot error here so everything is fine we just have to give error here so it's very simple what we have to do we have to go here and just after this uh, uh, input box i will create a span or not a span i will create a small tag other then i will say v if I will only show this one if uh, errors is that, is that errors yeah errors dot length is greater than zero if this is true I will say here inside this curly braces errors dot name okay maybe I can use here errors dot name also that's good so reload the page add new hit save changes and yes the name field is required it's here and what the problem here it's coming inside this quotes and braces so i will say i will get the first one that's very nice reload once more add new save changes and yeah we have but let's give this a class of has text danger what this will do this will make the error as a red okay and we can also give this input box a red outline when we have error 
for that we have to go to sublime once more and here on this input box we will bind the class but we will only bind class when we have error so i will say firstly the class name is danger when that means the same, the colon we have to provide then errors dot name we have that's good reload the chrome add new save changes and yeah we have this outline so i think this is good for this and now we can provide same thing for our phone input box and here just say phone similarly email and email now the small tag for the displaying of error and instead of name i have to say phone similarly here instead of name email everything is set reload add new save changes and you can see the name field is required phone field is required and the name field is required so we have done the validation system and obviously you can provide the user side validation so that even user cannot submit this empty fields i have a view js validation system video on my channel you can search or i will give the link in the description you can check out that and we have done all these things and surely in the next episode i'm going to show you how you can show all the posts we have in our uh, database inside this list so if you have any doubt feel free to message me and comment me and don't forget to subscribe like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye